Um, my name is Ken, Ken Lennon, and I am international brand ambassador for Shiva's Brothers, which is the Scotch whisky company of Germany. So how long for you work for, for this brand? I've worked for more than 20 years in the Scotch whisky industry and uh, almost 20 years with uh, these brands. And w which are the main changes you have seen in that in 20 years? I have seen many changes in trends. The Scotch whisky industry tends to go around in cycles, so I have seen uh, blended whiskies being very high, very sold very well. I've then seen a huge trend in the development of single malts, and now we've seen a big trend in the development of prestige and very rare and exclusive single malts, like Glenlivet 21 and Glenlivet Nadura. So we're continually developing our range and developing our products to meet the demand for high quality prestige whiskies. Okay, which are the, the main difference for you between the different areas? So Europe, uh, Far East, uh, America in markets and also knowledge of people, sure. culture. I think in Europe, really Europe is the heartland of single malt, uh, single malt consumption and single malt knowledge. You know, markets like Italy, Germany, France, Scandinavia, Sweden, uh, Holland, they are all very knowledgeable about single malt whiskies, whereas in Asia they tend to drink much more blended whiskies, but very high age, Shiva's Regal 18, Valentine 17 years old, very exclusive blended whiskies. But we're seeing more and more people in Asia are turning to single malts. They've been drinking blends for a long time, now they're looking for something different, so they want more knowledge and more information about single malts, which is where my job comes in, because as international brand ambassador, I'm here to educate, train and introduce these brands to a wider, worldwide audience. Do you have some new products coming in the next months or years? You know? uh, we are developing a number of projects at the moment, which obviously are secrets. I can't <laughs> tell you about them. If I told you, I would have to kill you, which I don't want to do. But really, no, we have, some, we have a number of very, very exciting projects, particularly on the Glenlivet, but also on our blending whiskey. So for single malts and blends, lots of new projects in the pipeline, uh, lots of interesting uh, stuff coming through. Can you tell a few words also about the other brands you, you are in the Chivas Brothers? Yes, of course. Um, I work very much with uh, Chivas Regal, uh, which is the number one super premium and number one deluxe brand in the world. Um, I work a lot with Royal Salute, uh, which is the number one ultra premium brand. And I also work a lot with Ballantines, which is the number two Scotch whisky in the world. So I'm so lucky that I deal with the world beating the leaders in Scotch whisky, not only in single malts, but also in blends. But we have, we have Passport, we have something special. We have 100 Pipers, we have Royal Salute, Shiva's Valentine's, Glenlivet, Aberlour single malts, fantastic. Beautiful single malt like Scapa, which is extraordinary. We have a beautiful 16 years old Scapa, which is a, one of the best single malts you will ever taste. So um, I'm really lucky I can, I can introduce these whiskies to everyone in the world and no one ever says they don't like them. Uh, I would say that if there is an ambassador like, like this for, for, Scott, for a single month there would be no more war probably. I don't so know ambassadors, what, I think, I think Scotch whisky would, would probably <laughs> unite the world. There will be no more wars. Maybe only a war between Scotland and England. Okay. But like then they don't have single mass. Like they start they to have, have one. Single, they have got a, They've got one yeah. distillery in England. I don't think we need to fear for the competition. You know. They've got a they've got a Welsh malt whisky. Yeah. Now, which is. Mm, it's not a real whisky as far as we're And they've got Swedish malt whisky, which is fine. But no, I think Scotch whisky, with um, with about 45% of the world's whisky sales, I think we're doing very, very well. So can you tell more about your first experience here in the, the whisky festival in Milan? What yeah, do you well, think? This is my first experience in the whisky festival. My, uh, my colleague uh, Richard, very kindly, Ricardo, very kindly invited me here. So it's my first time. It's a very different sort of whisky festival. It's much more informal and relaxed and natural. And people who come here are enthusiasts. They're hobbies, um, and they're just they're passionate about malt whisky. Uh, and I haven't had too many whisky anoraks coming to ask me really silly questions about which side of the field the malt was grown on, or whether the sun was shining the one day in July when the, the malt was cut. It makes no difference to the whisky. The most important thing is, does the whisky taste great? If it tastes great, you don't need to know which side of the field the barley was grown on. Any, and you don't need to know what the temperature of the water in the, in the mash tun, because who cares? 
So if you need to choose one of the of the festival you you go usually, which is the, the favorite one you have? To be honest, I'm, I'm very honest with you, I don't do a lot of whiskey festivals. I don't actually work at a lot of festivals because my job is really traveling around the world, working with our own salespeople, our marketing people, our distributors, our agents, and also bartenders and Metro D, uh, sommelier and Metro D, training them and educating them on our brand. So to come to a whiskey festival, it's not always the best use of my time. However, um, however, uh, for me, this has been a real treat. It's been a real joy because uh, it's something different. You know? And it's nice to meet some of the enthusiasts about uh, our malt whiskies. And everyone who's come to our stand, they have loved tasting and loved uh, trying our, uh, our Glen Living wines. So, Ken, thanks a lot for your collaboration and help. And looking forward to see you again in uh, in Italy.